Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul. All right, Ray. Ray. That's Nick behind the camera. You get to see his face one day, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, we're here today to brew some coffee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this is, Ray hasn't used this before, and um, I, 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 I've been able to use this, you know, in my in my years in coffee. But um, I do know this is a bit more of a domestic machine. I have seen these in cafes. A few times. Yeah, me too. I do know. Um, I do know that a few cafes that are doing lower volume of brews uh, will use something like this. Um, so you so, so do what do you do in cafes? Like, is there usually stove tops if they don't have machines? Well, how do they brew like drip? Uh, usually by V sixties, so pour overs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that, but you know, that's more individual uh, brews. You know, and mm -hmm. I think a lot of times um, there's not much time. Mm -hmm. um, to, to do that, so I think batch brewers have come in, you know. So there, um, so there have been um, different brewers out there like Coco Master or Fetco, which do leaders, you know what I mean? Mocha Master, Mocha Master. Shout out to Mocha Master, man. What? What, man? <laughs> we used, I used to do it there. No, it's a great product. Yeah, they do. Um, we're going to be brewing some coffee. Um, I've got coffee roast by Kingswood. Shout out to Kingswood. That's where I'm at at the moment. Um, it is grown in Talima by a producer named Freddy. Uh, he's grown as a Couture varietal and it's been washed, uh, pulped, and then anaerobically fermented for 35 hours and then dried on raised beds and it's going to give us some tasty stuff, you know. Um, so let's get straight into it, man. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's do um, it. So where do we start? You got your beans ready? It's great. I have yeah. shit. Alright, we're back. We'll just ground that. Boom. Boom. This nice color, nice smells. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a professional like you, but it looks a bit coarse to me. Kind of looks like fine tobacco. Does not smell like that. It smells... I think you're too mm, coarse. Right? And caramel, like multi. Yeah, multi, like sultry, very. Sultana? Warm. Shit, yeah. I don't like sultanas so. though. What? It's good fruit, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So. You see here, Precision Brewer comes with two baskets, flat bottom, semi-conical, depending on your taste. I am not a uh, drip coffee drinker at all, but I appreciate people uh, have the nuanced flavors that they like. So these two can produce different kinds of flavors. Um, you've got your filled baskets, you know, yep. Yep. your preference for this brew. Yeah, I'm easy, man. I'm easy. Yeah. Um, Settings wise, this is SCA Gold Cup uh, certified. So, SCA, do you know? Specialty Coffee of Australia. Association. Association. Um, Let's cut that out, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, yeah, they're one, one, one of the biggest. The, are they the biggest? Kind of coffee industry experts um, globally. They do all the research. They uh, Where's it based? Portland. Yeah. Much love going out to the guys in America, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's tough times out there. Yeah, it's tough times out there, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah. social distance, man. Sorry. Oh, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to use a gold cup preset here. So it's one touch, easy to go. Obviously, if you want it to be a bit more um, fiddly with it, you can, definitely. But gold cup... Let's talk about what we do. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go. So what we're doing, um, we're doing a ratio of 1 to 17. Is that the like industry standard? Oh, that's a good place to start, man. Yeah. You know, you're always going to get a good cup out of that. Nice yeah. balance. Uh, clean. And that's what you want, you know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's up to you. You can always adjust, you know, but I, I like to start there, you know. Um, these days are going 16.5, but that's another story. Whoa, so Yeah, true. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So, uh, so is it on? I can't see. Alright, so gold cup. That's the best cup. Gold. Gold, not silver, not pounds. Nah, nah, nah. Not the gold stuff. Alright. So, right. Insert crap. Oh. Inserted. Hmm. Man, I uh, think so. This, this, yeah, this Alright, seating. Cool. Yep. So, that go. how's that? How's that turning that? 
to hot, like it, it takes pretty fast, right? Yeah, so this product, it's got uh, thermocoil heating. Um, it delivers this really consistent heat. I think it uses copper, copper piping. Yeah. Um, the old school brewers used to have like elements. So how it heats is, you know, it's really inconsistent. And delivering a consistent temperature, I think it helps with the flavors of the product. Yeah, that's what the espresso machine is doing now. It's just, mm. you know, consistent, consistent heat. heat. You know, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what it's about. That's it, man. Um, so what's your preference? Do you like batch brew or do you usually prefer just doing pour over? Uh, Why are you espresso drinker? Or? I'm, I'm, I'm everything, man. Like, if, if I'm home, it's all filled up. Coffee thing. Yeah, yeah but if I'm out, um, you know, I'll have, you know, it's double spray yeah. or long blacks. Yeah. But always, I'm, I'm always mixing up between those two. Love, still love my milkies, like yeah. you know. I still love, love, love milkies, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a big filter drinker, man. Okay. Yeah, because you know, at the end of the day, like it is like ninety two percent water. You know, yeah. the whole thing. That's like a big, it's a big thing. So you yeah. think like taste wise, or is it more convenience? Yeah. No, I think I think I, 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 I love purist. Yeah, I love tasting coffee, like uh, good 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 coffee, yeah. you know, and uh, what you can get out of it with just adding water. Okay. You know, fresh coffee. Good produce, ground well, okay. uh, and all you do is add water and have a good ratio, um, and you should get the natural flavors of the coffee. Um, you know, and if it doesn't taste good, then you know, it's, you know, it could be the product. Yeah. You know, um, but if you do have a good product, it's always nice to um, taste what it, what it kind of gives you. Know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, I love espresso drinks and you know, all of that. So. so do you take milk? Oh, yeah, I took it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cow milk, cow milk, dairy milk. Ah, uh, dairy milk. Yeah, yeah. Alternatives. Also, no, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't, do, haven't <laughs> done into alternative yet. That's cool. But, but um, fair enough, man. Yeah, yeah. I like that you don't uh, discriminate. Hell no, so, nah, nah of, man. The love of coffee. Yeah. So how's that? How? It, so the, the the water's heated. Yes. And it goes through the head. Is that is is, is, is it a special type of head? Yeah. So if you think about the water, heated thermocoil down here, and it actually travels back up. And it's showering onto the bed of coffee, um, so it's an even distribution of the, the hot water, which means it soaks up um, the the coffee yeah. more evenly. Yeah. Obviously, you, you're extracting more of the flavors um, or more evenly. That's right. And you know what? That's done. We're done. Um, We're done. Fuck. Right. Easy. And you know, you have to sweat. Do what I say. Okay. Well, do it again. Do it again. Just speak that out. No, it's <laughs> mad. I like it. Yeah, just speak that out. But um. Just wanted to let you guys know, this is not a sales call. No, We're not sponsored by Breville. No. No, it's just, I remember Ray- We do awesome products, but we're not sponsored by Breville. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's much love to Breville, you know. Yeah. I think they are um, going into the domestic market quite well, man. Like, um, and, uh, uh, maybe we'll see commercial products from there, I'm not sure. But at the yeah. moment, I feel as though they are leading the way on this, you know. And I remember Ray gave me a call, he was like, man, let's, let's do a brew, I've got I work at Breville, uh, I've got some better products, let's, let's make a brew. And yeah. I was just like, well, let's just film it. Yeah, this is what we're doing. First take, and uh, man, coffee, coffee's done, let's drink. Let's go. You gotta make sure it's on pour. Oh, cups are here, oh my what? god. What? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, we're done. So, that, was, that was super easy. The carafe. Yeah, how much are one of these worth, man? Depends where you are in the world. Um, so it comes in a uh, two two models. One comes with a glass carafe. One, this one's a stainless one. Glass one. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know. I thought professional didn't like the glass one. I guess it doesn't keep it as hot. But I don't know. I like the glass one because you can see stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. But um, uh, oh yeah, not me. I'll break the thing. Price wise, check out the website and your retailer. Like it's going to be different. Places, but yeah. um, roughly like 300 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, 300 bucks. Um, what is there any other products that Breville do that just kind of focus on domestic kind of? Yeah, man. Like uh, I think our machines, espresso machines, are legit. Legit. I, I've never used a. Oh, passionate. Uh, my mate Matt. Yeah. Shout out to Matt and Dorothy and you know, the fam. He, yeah. uh, I was at the house Pickle? yesterday. Yeah, yeah, man. And yeah. he made me a long black coffee's Breville espresso machine. Yeah. I was like, yo, man, we're doing content. <laughs> I was like, we, we got to your house. You content, yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah legit. He, he, I, he's, he's happy with it, man, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, our, our thing is that it's third wave specialty cafe quality coffee. What? Like, legit. It's, it's not like, no, Nespresso. No, I don't want to bag it. No, 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 it's all good. Well, you know, that I think that's content material, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I'd love, I'd love to see why. Like you guys think it's like that? Like it'll be cool to yeah, break man. it down. Yeah, through it. For sure. Um, I guess the only thing for me is like obviously what's the maxi? One point eight liters. So yeah. you know you're gonna get maybe one and a half liters of, of brew. Yeah. Uh, which is is probably like six cups of coffee. So that's that's a good amount for home, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're sharing or you just kind of keeping it there. Yeah. There's a preset. Like if you want to batch uh, big. A big batch of coffee, you do it under under six minutes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I heard that it's also got a um, cold brew setting yes, to it. Yes, it's got cold brew, so you can set and forget. It'll just um, like drip brew throughout the night. Um, oh no shit. Yeah. Is, is, it, is it a time limit on that? Or? Yeah, you can set. So it's got a my, my brew setting where you can fully customize like the flow rate, bloom time, um, to really tweak it how you want. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm not the product manager, so I really am not sure about all these things. My double check. Awesome. I think I think we've covered what we needed to do. Okay. So you know, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Ray, for coming Thank through. You. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Um, I'm glad you got to do your first. Uh, yeah, pop a cherry. Pop yeah, pop a cherry, cherry man. man. You were there you know, with it, so yeah. I appreciate yeah. that, guys. So we're signing up. Thanks for tuning in to Fat Pie. Yeah, you want to try the coffee first? Should we oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Nick? That's for Sean. Huh? But, um, cheers, guys. Cheers. Yes. Enjoy. Clink.